Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. <laughs> Captain Hornigold, please call your men. Rackham, Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Fan out, lads, and take this shanty town as if it were your own. Aye, but the King has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about His Majesty, Governor. You're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. Fast, a lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move. Commodore Chamberlain. Go. Please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should treat every goddamn ship just like the King's colors. To do otherwise, we get to start weakness in our bearings. Commodore, I am a goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decision. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. These are the charts, Commodore. Your position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. Come 
and declare that in case any of the said pirates shall on or before the 5th of September in the year of our Lord 1718 surrender him or themselves to any one of the principal secretaries of state in Great Britain or Ireland or to any governor or general of any of our plantations beyond the sea every such pirate and the pirates so surrendering him or themselves as aforesaid, shall have our gracious pardon of and for such his or their piracy or piracies. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next ensuing. And we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers at sea. And all our governors and commanders of any forts, castles, or other places in our plantations, and all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in Nassau. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith. Or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the King's pardon and salvage what oh, dignity we peace. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you forecastle headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! I need a drink.
Ahoy, sir! to think on how many times I've put up with Horny Gold and his self-righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Horny Gold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. If you brewed a plan, I might get a taste of. NASA is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough, what's your angle? The Brits have brought their supplies ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. You're a capable captain. My conscience is clear. Right. When you get the gunpowder, I'll secure the pine pitch. Yourselves, you dollars! Oh, attack from all sides now! Just in me, 
sight. I've got a dead line. Tighten the noose. Bastards in the sight. I've got a dead line on him. I've got a clear shot. I'll make you halt, boy. Ugh! <sighs> 
Come on, boys, you're lagging. What's this bloody hemp? Lieutenant. Tss. Aye, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. It's by the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bar those orders. You think so? We're dead in the water otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. Well, we can't risk our good fortune. I'll be waiting for you. Positions and prepare to decal on the Commodore's orders. The governor's given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? 
A syphilis clouded your mind. Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant! You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? <sighs> if not for that heathen, Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. Commodore's dead. Are we ready? We're close. We've got a problem with the galleon. There's a couple of dozen. Bloody hell. You'd raise a cloud here, lout. You shot on enough gunpowder to blow New Providence off its rocks. Lay off me, mate. I'm, I'm well chafed. As I was telling, a squad of lobsters has commandeered our galleon. We're going to have to clear it out before we use them cannons to blow the brocade. Right there, Captain. Fire! Fire! Captain Lance 
Captain, keep it afloat. Come to flames! Take the shots up! Ready, blue sword! Quick down to the way! There's a good shot! Mighty mess there. <laughs> Burn your bastards! Yeah! The burning of your ass, governor! Prancing about like they took a prize. <laughs> <laughs> 